Hello everyone, I am Nivedita Jena from Ambika Prasad Research Foundation. Welcome to all of you to our channel, Biodiversity and Conservation. Um, so in the previous part, we have discussed about the types of factor affect the regulation of population. And in this part, we are going to discuss about the uh, one type of factor, which is density dependent population regulation. So let's start. So what is density dependent population regulation? The density dependent uh, effects influence our population in proportion to its size. The concept of carrying capacity suggests a negative feedback between population increase and resource says available in the environment. As population density increases, the per capita availability of resources declines. The decline in per uh, capita resources eventually reaches some crucial uh, level at which it functions to regulate population growth. Implicit in this model of population regulation is density dependence. So mechanisms of density dependent population regulation may however include factors other than the direct effects of resource availability. For example, uh, population density uh, can influence patterns of predation or the spread of disease and parasites. A brief um, review of this significant density dependent factor is enumerated um, ahead. One is competition. So competition is one of the most important factors in regulating population size and its role is to ensure an adequate supply of food, space and other resources for the existence and reproduction of the individual. The individuals of a population have to compete for food, shelter, mating, etc. This may lead to increased mortality, destruction of nest, loss of food supply, decreased reproduction, increased predation, dispersal into other populations, decreased health and vigor, etc. All the above factors tremendously influence the population density in those spaces in which direct competition or interference results in the establishment of uh, effective territories or social hierarchies the population becomes stabilized at a level below that uh, at which the food resources become exhausted and at which an adequate rate of reproduction is ensured
reproductivity, the birth and death rates of a population play a key role in the regulation of a population. It is desirable uh, when considering reproductivity as a density stabilizing factor to distinguish clearly between fecundity, the number of eggs or young produced, and the number reaching sexual maturity or survival. There is increasing evidence that changes in fecundity are density dependent in many species, but nevertheless are not usually sufficiently great to be of major importance in uh, stabilizing populations at any definite level. Predation, it is well known that uh, variation in population level of predators often coincide or closely follow variations in the populations of the prey species, but it is not always certain whether the number of predators depends simply on the abundance of the prey serving as food or whether the predators by their feeding regulate the prey animals. Experimental studies imply demonstrate that under certain conditions, at least predators greatly affect the numbers of the species on which they feed and hence similar relationships may be looked for uh, under natural conditions. Predation exerts a selective force so that the less fit individuals are eliminated at higher rates than that are the fit. In doing so, predation not only helps in maintaining the health um, and vigor of the prey population, but also plays a definitive role in their population regulation. And dispersion um, is about the emigration, immigration, migration, etc. Profoundly influence the size of a population. Emigration under uh, Natural conditions occur when uh, there is overcrowding and, and it helps in uh, relieving the pressure of overpopulation in particular localities. Immigration has survival value for the species or otherwise it would have disappeared in the course of evolution. Dispersing into new localities, there is opportunity gained for interbreeding with other populations leading to more genetic homozygosity and adaptability and populations of animals inhabiting marginal habitats often also avoid population crosses that uh, frequently occur in congested areas. Disease, although infectious disease in some form is a common cause of mortality. It is less important as a stabilizing and regulating factor because it reduces population size in an important manner only when epidemics occur. The mortality may then be extreme so that population falls way below the level of stabilization and a period of recovery uh, follows. Whether or not epidemics occur depends upon the virulence of the disease producing organism, the rapidity at which it is transmitted from individual to individual and the resistance of the host. The ease and rapidity of transmission increase with the size of the host population. 
overcrowding scarcity of food and inclement weather also lower the vigor of the host so that uh, they become more susceptible and waste accumulation high population densities can lead to the accumulation of harmful waste production products that kill individuals or impair reproduction reducing the population's growth density dependent regulation can also take the form of uh, behavioral or physiological changes in the organisms that uh, make up the population building on hansel's approach making medical theory of stress christian and davies have emerged uh, considerable evidence both from the field and the laboratory that crowding in higher vertebrates results in enlarged adrenal glands which are symptomatic of shifts in the neural endocrine balance that in turn bring about changes in behavior reproductive potential and resistance to disease or other stress such changes often combine to cause a precipitous crash in population density for example snow snow uh, hares are the peak of density often die suddenly from some disease that has been shown to be associated with enlarged adrenals and other evidence of endocrine imbalance in the cyclic insects wellington found that on the offspring of the cycle tent caterpillars built elongated tents that are shifted about and the individuals are active in moving out into the foliage to feed at peak density the caterpillars become inactive build compact tents feed less and are more subject to disease adults reared from sluggish larva were also sluggish and did not move far to lay their eggs similarly rodents called lemmings respond to high population density by emigrating in groups in search of a new less crowded place to live